Hi guys, welcome to the second of my 5 Hertz CPU update videos. Um, it's been almost a month since the first one of these, and I'd like to say it was a productive month, but it wasn't really. Um, I went down a lot of rabbit trails, and it wasn't really productive, but I did learn a lot, and I have some plans for how I can make some progress. Um, but first, let's talk about what I actually did did do and actually did accomplish so that was the this is the old program memory um, and I updated it with this new design it's twice as um, condensed so I can fit twice as much memory so now I have 60 lines of program memory instead of 30 um, I also added some jump decoders and jump busing so this the whole jump system is almost completely ready for uh, the conditional system once I finish my ALU. Um, I copied the registers from down there to up here and hooked those, all those up. So now we have um, load immediates and move instructions completely working. So that's really nice. Um, I also worked on some IO circuits. So we have a barrel shifter, we've got some screens, uh, just some stuff that I can attach to the IO port when I finish it. Um, so that's the that's the stuff that I have gotten done, but when it comes to the ALU, which is like the most important part, I really wanted a I needed a fast ALU. I really need a fast ALU because my clock speed is two ticks. So um, I made a video on this one tick latency uh, comparator primed adder, and I was just planning on taking this and turning it into an ALU and slapping it on the end of this and that it didn't quite turn out that simple because I didn't really understand the mechanic fully. Um, I really wanted a two tick throughput adder which basically means that you can put in a signal every two ticks. Um, I thought this was two tick throughput. Uh, it turns out it wasn't and there are hundreds of reasons why it isn't um, and I spent so many hours just trying to get a two tick throughput ALU working and I've kind of come to the last idea and it just didn't work so I'm kind of convinced that that's impossible right now I mean if I come up with another idea I'll certainly try it but I'm not gonna waste my time really on this anymore so at this point, I have like two options. I can either ditch the entire comparator priming thing and go with a normal four tick ALU, end up with like a five tick data loop, and you'll be able to do an ALU operation every. You'll be able to do an ALU operation every instruction, but you'll get the result from that ALU operation three instructions after you request it, which is the path I went for my previous three designs and. It just, it's not as nice. Um, it doesn't, it makes things less efficient. Um, I don't really want to do that. So the other option is to, instead of ditching comparator priming, ditch two tick throughput. So that would basically mean that instead of being able to do an AU operation every instruction, you can do one every other instruction. Uh, that doesn't, that does not affect the speed of the clock. It just affects how often you can do ALU operations within the program memory. Um, and that's just gonna make designing this thing so much easier. Um, I actually got really close to making a fully functioning ALU, but it was four tick throughput. So I got rid of it because I really wanted a two tick one. So that's what I'm gonna be rebuilding tonight is actually like work that I had previously deleted. Um, but now that I've kind of gotten over all of that need for a two tick throughput, I think I'll be able to make a lot more progress. Um, by the way, if you haven't seen this video on my one tick adder, I'll put it in the description. It basically talks about how comparator priming works, which is kind of just a form of pistonless instant logic, only useful in some cases, but it's still pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that will be in the description. Um, if I finish, this project before another month I'll upload the final video and 
do the showcase and have a world download. But if I don't, then I'll probably do another one of these just showing what I finished, um, what I've worked on. Hopefully it's more than what I did this month. So that's about it. If you have any suggestions or comments, please put them in the comment section and I'll try to respond. But thanks and I'll see you later.